Hey YouTube, I'm Jess. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be really fun to go through all of the products that I bought in the Sephora sale this year and do a final review of those products. Sephora usually does two sales per year for their VIB program. I picked up a few things in each of the sales this year, so I'm gonna let you know today how things went with those products, give you some final reviews, and let you know if I would purchase those things again. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then just keep watching. Okay, my friends, we're gonna start off this video with the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. So I got mine in the shade Silk. I'm gonna say my favorite part about this concealer is the sound that it makes when you close it. That sound right there is my favorite part about this concealer. I don't know, something about it, it's very like ASMR pleasing. Packaging on this product is beautiful. However, for me, this is just not a winning formula. So the concealer is a little bit of a thicker consistency than other concealers that I like to use. And it does give nice coverage. However, I do find it a little bit drying on the under eye area. It sets really quickly, so you really need to get in there and blend it out very fast. And yeah, for me, it's just a little bit too dry, a little bit too heavy, a little bit too cakey. It's definitely not the worst concealer I've ever tried, and I'm gonna be using it for the next couple months because it's in a really good shade for me at this time of the year, and I wanna use it up. I don't like to waste things if they're, you know, usable. I just use a really small amount, just a little bit on the inner corner and outer corner of my eye, and then blend. Even if I just use that tiny little bit, it still just feels a little bit too heavy to me. And there are other concealers that I like so much better. Something that gives, I'd say, even better coverage than this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpted Concealer. You get way more product for a cheaper price. You get better coverage. It's not as heavy. So thinner consistency on the actual under eye and the product itself. I love that concealer. Also, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer. Even even lighter consistency than the Too Faced one and this also gives I'd say a really similar coverage to this. Sets really beautiful, looks nicer under the eye. Just other concealers that I've found that don't cost as much as this luxury concealer and that I prefer to use. Yeah, I know people love this, people go crazy for this. It's like some people's number one concealer that they've tried but for me it just wasn't something that I think I'll repurchase. Alright, next up in that first sale of the year I picked up the Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot Cream Blush. This was the first product that I ever tried from Rare Beauty and it really blew me away to be honest. First of all, again, the packaging. The packaging on this guy is incredible. It's just so cute. It's the perfect weight. Considering the price, like Rare Beauty is quite an affordable brand for Sephora, so the quality of this packaging is just like really really great it's so pretty and then the product itself is really great as well so you get a really nice soft creamy sheer dewy blush i like to apply it with a beauty blender so i just dip my beauty blender right into the blush and then apply it straight to my cheek the one downside to this product that i would say is that it is not super long wearing so it will fade on you as the day goes on i think with a cream blush that's pretty common but just this formula in particular, I notice it's a little bit worse than some of my other cream blushes in terms of longevity, but I don't always need my makeup to last a really long time, and the way that this goes on and just looks so wet and smooth and dewy, I really, really love, so I would definitely pick this up in other colors. The Nearly Apricot shade was great for me. I didn't have any kind of peachy, pinky kind of cream blushes in my collection, so it filled that little need for me, and it was a great color for summer. Really, really great, highly recommend, and would repurchase, and may repurchase in some other colors, we'll see. Okay, and then the last thing that I got in the first Sephora sale of the year was the Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptide Serum. I've spoken about this a few times on my channel. This is one of the only serums that I have personally tried where I've actually noticed a difference in anti-aging. So I have a lot of serums that I love for things like hydration, brightening, acne fighting. This guy right here is incredible for anti-aging. Literally, if I use this product consistently, I will notice fine lines in my forehead disappear. This makes my skin feel really plump. This makes my skin feel really firm. And like I said, it literally 
gets rid of fine lines. It's just incredible. It's so, so powerful and it's so good and it does what it says it does. The downside of this product to me is that I can't use it underneath makeup. It doesn't sink into the skin right away when you apply it. It kind of sits on top and must sink in slowly. And so if you try to then layer makeup on top of it, it can pill or your makeup won't sit properly on top of it. So it's not the best for wearing underneath makeup. And it's a downside because I would love to wear this morning and night and just like treat my skin to it all the time. But because of that, on days where I wear makeup, I can't use this product. So yes, I love this product. I highly recommend it. I've actually already bought another backup of it. It's so good. So if you're looking for something for anti-aging, definitely check this guy out. Okay. And then I picked up a few things in the second Sephora sale, which was recently. Uh, one of the things that I picked up was the Jack Black Moisture Therapy Lip Balm. So this is a repurchase for me. I've actually purchased this quite a few times. This time I got the mint flavor. So this is really great. First of all, it has SPF 25 in it. So really good to protect your lips in the summer from the sunshine. And you guys, this is the best lip balm that I have ever tried. My lips get really dry, really cracked. I live in Canada. Like it is dry as in the winter time. The moisture just gets sucked out of your face and your lips and your skin. Like my hands are so chapped right now. It's very difficult to keep moisture in your skin in the winter in Canada. And this does it. I put this on before I go to bed at night and I wake up. It's still kind of sitting on top of my lips because it is a little bit of a thicker texture. It doesn't absorb in right away. And my lips are actually healed. This is a lip balm that will actually heal cracked and drying lips. It is a go-to product for me, the best lip balm that I've ever tried. So of course I will continue to repurchase. The next product that I got in the second Sephora sale of the year was the ABH Brow Freeze. So I was waiting to film a video with this and I just filmed that video last week, which means I've only used it a couple of times, so I can't really give it a full review. However, I will say that after my first impression, I was really happy with it and impressed with it. Did it blow me away? Did I think it was the most amazing product I'd ever tried in my eyebrows in my entire life? No, but I really like the look that it gives. I really like the hold that it has. I like that it doesn't leave a residue in your brows. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to continue to use it and I'll give more of a full review once it ends up in an empties video. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you don't want to miss that. Okay, next up you guys, this is something that I have absolutely fallen in love with. So this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. When I worked in Sephora last year and the year before, people were always looking for this product, asking me to show them where it was, asking for my opinion on it. I hadn't tried it, so I couldn't give it, but everybody was talking about this product. People who worked in Sephora, clients, everybody talking about this product. I've always been a cleansing oil type of person rather than a cleansing balm. And that's because I've used a lot of cleansing oils that I really like. And the only cleansing balm that I had tried before this one was the Clinique, I think it's called Take the Day Off Balm. And I didn't love that balm. I can't remember exactly what it was about it. So I've always just stuck to cleansing oils. With a cleansing oil, you use the oil to remove your makeup and then because it's an oil, it sticks to your face and water isn't going to remove it. So then you have to go in with a second cleanse. So I really love my CeraVe cleanser or the Neutrogena cleanser that I was using earlier this year. And I'll go in with that to remove the oil, the makeup and cleanse my skin. I love a two-step cleanse. It just makes my skin feel really clean and fresh, but you do have to do a second cleanse with a cleanser cleansing oil to remove the oil and the makeup from your face. Cleansing oils can also leave a little bit of a residue on your skin even after you go through and do your second cleanse, but I kind of like that. I like my skin to have kind of an oily feel to it. I like to put rosehip oil just straight onto my skin, so I don't mind having that little bit of an oily residue. So for ages and ages, I was using the Burt's Bees cleansing oil. I really liked that product. It did a good job of removing my makeup. The smell didn't bother me. It didn't burn my eyes, which is a problem I've had with, with other cleansing oils in the past. And it was at a really great price point. I think around 20 Canadian dollars. It was also accessible to me. I could get it at the Shoppers Drug Mart across the street from my house. They had it in grocery stores, all kinds of things. So I was using that for quite a while. And then when I ran out of my most recent bottle of it, I couldn't find it again. So I've moved. So I don't know if they still carry it at the old shoppers, but at the shoppers near me here, they don't have it there. They used to carry it at Organic Garage, which is near me. They don't have it there anymore either. So I don't know if, they just, if they've discontinued it or if those 
places just don't carry it. But I was going for like ages without cleansing oil and using just micellar water to remove my makeup, which I don't like. I don't like rubbing my face with cotton pads. But finally, the Sephora sale came around and I decided to just bite the bullet and buy the Pharmacy Green Clean. After hearing all these people talk about it and all these great reviews for it, it's about twice the price of the one that I was using before, the Burt's Bees. However, I am fully converted. I love this product so much. So first of all, the smell is incredible to me. It smells like limeade, but it's not like too strong of a smell. You can see what it looks like in here. It's kind of that light green color. It comes with an applicator, which is really good because you don't have to stick your fingers in the product and get it all germy. This does such an incredible job at removing my makeup. It takes everything off, and then when I rinse it, because it's not an oil, it all comes off of my face just from rinsing. So. I still go in and do a second cleanse, but at that point I'm really just cleansing my skin. I'm not using my second cleanse to remove the oil and the makeup from my first cleanse, if that makes sense. It just leaves your skin feeling so clean, so fresh, that if you didn't wanna do a second cleanse, you wouldn't have to. It does such a good job of removing itself and the makeup from your skin. Really, you guys, I have absolutely fallen in love with this. If you're looking for a cleansing balm or a good way to remove your makeup, check it out. It's worth the hype. Okay, so then the last thing that I picked up in the Sephora sale this year was the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. So I got two of these. I bought one as a backup for my kit and then one to use for myself. So I love the Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer. It's tinted, products blend really nicely over top of it, it sets really well on top of the eyelid, it holds onto your eyeshadows for a really nice long time, and yeah, I really love the Laura Mercier one. However, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, and so because I go through eyeshadow primer quite frequently in my kit, products that you use on everyone you go through very quickly so things like eyeshadow palettes foundations you're using different ones for different people so you don't go through them as often but like mascaras eyeshadow primers eyeliners you go through them quite quickly because you're using them on everyone because of that I didn't necessarily want to keep repurchasing the Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer. I figured I would try out some other ones to see if I could find something that I liked just as much or better that cost a little bit less. So because I had so much success with the Rare Beauty cream blush earlier in the year, I decided to try out the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer and I had bought a couple of them for full price, used two of them, and then when the Sephora sale came up, I knew I needed to get a backup for my kit because I've just really, really enjoyed using it. So similar to the Laura Mercier one, it's tinted, which is really nice. I wish maybe that they would come out with some more colors. However, I have used this shade on deep skin tones and it has worked perfectly fine. It just really makes the eyeshadows that you put on top like pop because you're putting that light color down on a dark skin tone and then the eyeshadow on top is just like boom like really dramatic but in the instances where I used it it worked perfectly fine it was usable it just would be better to have more shades obviously I really like the texture of this it's quite a bit thinner than the Laura Mercier one that I love it's really really nice and thin it blends out over the eye beautifully sometimes eyeshadow primers can be a little bit chunky or they cannot blend out evenly over the lid this goes on really evenly really smooth and then therefore when you put the eyeshadows over top of it they go on in turn really easily and really smooth so it's really easy to blend eyeshadow over top of this the packaging is really beautiful I like that it's flat because when I'm working I can just set it down on the surface and it doesn't roll away and yeah it does everything that I needed to do at a better price than the Laura Mercier one and I've been through quite a few of them at this point now so Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer is a win for me and I will purchase again and continue to purchase for both myself and my kit. And that's it you guys, that's everything I bought in the Sephora sale this year. I try not to go overboard and buy things that I don't need, so it's not a ton of stuff, but I felt like it was a good amount of things to put all into one video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I can do more like it. Leave me a comment down below. You can also check out all of these products in the links in the description box if you want to find out more information or buy them for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.